Hey guys, I'm here with Amy Dalwell, and she is a registered nurse, and we are talking about um, IV drips. And today we're going to talk about um, a vitamin C and just some of the things that are unique about an, uh, an IV drip that's vitamin C. Uh, thanks for being with us, Amy. Thank you for having me. Okay, so let's talk about vitamin C. Now, some of these bags go up over 50,000 milligrams. Um, that's right in your vein. And that's pretty potent. I mean, that does, that takes multiple paths in, in your bloodstream and does many, many things. People don't realize what vitamin C is and what it can do in the, these dosages. So talk a little bit about that. Well, first, I want to give everybody a visual. So if you visualize cutting an apple in half and you let it sit out for a couple of hours, what is it going to do? It's going to brown. And that is due to oxidation. And that is what happens in our body. We have oxidative stress, right? Certain things like environmental factors, um, our medications, what we eat causes this oxidative stress in our body. And what vitamin C is, is it's an antioxidant. So if you were to actually take like a vitamin C capsule and put it on that apple and let it sit out for hours, it would not turn brown. And so what you're doing is you are combating that chemical reaction. Oxidation causes all kinds of things in the body. It causes stress, it causes inflammation, it causes um, mutation of cells, which can lead to cancer. It causes fatigue, all of those things. So when you are getting IV vitamin C in these hefty doses, you are giving yourself a powerful antioxidant. And what the benefit of that is, is most of the time when you're taking vitamin C, Many people have probably tried it out. They're getting sick. They kind of overdose on vitamin C and they get a little GI distress, right? You might have a little bit like some loose stools. You might feel a little sick to your stomach. Your body can't tolerate those high doses that it really takes to change those serum plasma levels to a, a way that you actually benefit from it. So when you get it into your IV, it goes directly into the bloodstream and it changes those serum plasma levels. So you are getting that heavy antioxidant directly to the cells and it's combat all of those things to help increase your energy. It can fight those cancer cells. We've used it successfully many times as an alternative to cancer treatment. Um, and there are a multitude of benefits, but inflammation is, is huge with the vitamin C. Yeah, it, it's an amazing drip and it's, a, it's, a, it's an amazing uh, vitamin. And it just, it's so powerful and it does so much. Um, and it's, I mean, just think about that dosage that you can give uh, intravenously. So how long, if I, if I did a, a, a vitamin C bag and I got 50,000 milligrams, which maybe you can't do right out of the gate, but how long would my body benefit from that? Uh, well, everybody is individual, right? It's going to depend on your level of um, current like stress and inflammation. Um, but you're going to see that for quite a while that that's going to be as long as your serum plasma levels remain elevated, you might see that for a week. And so as you continue to do these things, it's just going to continue to combat that. So it's not something you regularly and you can amp up those serum plasma levels and then supplementally to help you kind of get to your next drip. Okay. So um, I can't wait to find out about some more of these drips. So um, that's Amy. Uh, you have a website where people can go and uh, find out more about this. Absolutely. We try to make as informational as possible. We do have some blogs as well. So you can visit www.sierraivhydration.com. Sierra IV Hydration. Okay, that's the name of your company. Well, uh, Amy, again, thanks for being with us and explaining uh, a little bit about this uh, vitamin C IV drip. Thanks for being with us. Thank you, Steve.